many students come to me and ask sir what direction this biopharma industry will grow biotech industry will grow and how can we utilize the opportunities of growth in this sector and in this industry and grow ourselves so you know how i see at today's youngster is a person who is in their bsc today is going to be a senior scientist or a entrepreneur or a phd in 2047 when india will turn like 100 years of independence right by the time you will be a senior scientist there so now if it is not very clear that in 2023 what steps you should take to get to 2047 you will be like okay you will come back home thinking that there is no scope there's no, there's no future there will be all frustration and disappointment and trust me majority of the students in the absence of guidance get into the valley of disappointment and say that there is no future now i'm going to give you hints now you you should be wise enough to grab those okay now the first hint is in the next 10 years biotech industry of india is going to get to 300 billion dollars and how it is going to happen is because biotech industry is going to leapfrog by skipping technologies like we may not get into uh, a hardcore ngs we may skip to the next or we we, we may we may not do we may not do crispr we may do something better than crispr so that's how leapfrogging will happen that's the first point so 300 billion dollars the second point is last time i checked or you checked the price of one antibiotic capsule is 65 rupees that's how it is 10 capsule 650 rupees right imagine how costly it is right now for you it may not be costly because you're a rich person but for a poor person who earns uh, you say uh, 500 rupees a day if he catches a cold for him 65 rupees is too much right that's like uh, 20% of his uh, you know, per day income goes into medicine so medicines are getting costlier or are still costlier and there is a chance to further bring down the price of medicine using computational tools using ai using machine learning we can develop cheaper better much more efficient medicines that's a second hint i want to give you so you can make a career in that right let's move on to the next point now the next point is vaccines save the world right vaccines save the world viruses were all way everywhere and without vaccines we, we would not have saved our economy today you can walk on the road without a mask all thanks to the vaccine you had right so vaccines are, are the future because there will be lot of pandemics epidemics and endemic which will happen right and you can prevent that if you invest or you are interested in vaccine sciences vaccinology as well as epidemiology so that's one hint i want to give you third hint that yes it is possible in this era because of the newer evolving med, uh, vaccines newer evolving viruses we have today right let's move on to the next point next hint of scope for all of you now the next hint of scope is global warming is threatening us like when we were kids there was no need of ac we never saw air conditioner right in our era there was no power also still we could survive the heat but today you see the average temperature of north india has risen by at least 5 degrees right the maximum it used to go to 40 degree now it is going 50 degree right and that is where heat waves are coming right slow solar flare ups are adding to that and the greenhouse effect the global warming is threatening our existence now at the same time we are generating more e waste we are not uh, relying on renewable sources of energy we are relying on non renewable sources of energy which is coal still i think 85% of india is powered by coal do you know that and the more ac we run the more coal we burn the more coal we burn the more heat happens and this adds up to the global warming that is where biotech sector can help by creating more efficient energy okay so that's another hint i wanted to give you let's move on to the next hint now the next hint is last time when you went for shopping i went yesterday right each time we go suppose i bought this shirt so they'll give you give me a packaging each time we are buying a new thing they're giving me a nice plastic packaging right even though plastic is banned packaging plastic is not banned right so each time you are shopping you are adding more plastics to the universe to the to this earth right and do you know 1950 with the plastic which was uh, manufactured in 1950 still exist on earth today so imagine the amount and the quantum of plastics we're adding to the earth crust every day right and this is huge this is big problem 
and that is where biotech sector comes in can come into picture to reduce the plastic waste right recycling is not the solution dissolving the plastic is the solution plastic eating bacteria are already in place but are they commercialized no you can create a company out of it you can do further research to make it more efficient that's the hint now let's move on to the next hint now the next hint sits in superbugs and antibiotics resistance now antibiotics take time to develop right but because of reckless use of antibiotics or medicines today there is no uh, you know th th there is a evolvement of superbugs who which are completely resistant to any kind of antibiotics right so imagine if the world gets into a pandemic by superbugs huge right what if you can prevent that what if you can use your tools your intelligence your intellect your wisdom your way of doing things in doing this now many students will come and say sir i can't do all this uh, you know global problems how will i solve i'm just one person why do you think you are a single person you know when i started biotechnica i was one single person right hundreds of people joined me thousands of people subscribed and then later on it became lakhs and crores right the same thing you you want one one thing with one noble intention you start other people will join you it's not that they will not join you okay but at least try right next hint now the next hint is your college while all this problem is happening your college is keeping you busy right what they doing assignments projects viva again assignments semesters dissertation hands on what not all the stuff they keep you busy conference but at the end they charge you a huge fees for all the activities they did and they keep you busy right saying that see how we did so many things but the what is the outcome of this it's the outcome is zero sum game you get a zero right you got a degree it's equal to zero instead you have to play a positive sum game zero plus one is equal to one that that's how it should be and that is where biotechnica comes into picture we have courses we have a lot of activities which adds value to your career so if you are a biotechnician you want to grow in your you know career then please actively participate in our events you will definitely be interested now in the meantime i also want to tell you that biotech sector is going to grow these were the hints which i wanted to share and i wanted to tell you that you can do this you can grow in this field because you have a unique perspective you have a unique way of approach of doing things and that's what is needed by the sector sector the, the ceos of this sector have already clear, clearly told me very easy you know in a very very clear way that i want an individual who can connect two things which are unseemingly not connected they want people with common sense which is very uncommon which you have so what are you thinking about stop procrastinating stop delaying start learning start you know doing new things right don't get busy with the college curriculum that's not going to help instead learn new things innovate on your career you're going to definitely win when the biotech industry wins and you are going to be the torch bearer of this industry i have firm belief in that thank you so much for watching this video see you soon in the next one till then thank you